the way. She's third. Unless you love her more than anything else. <laughs> so, going back to what we were speaking about, it's a big moment of a person's life. Wallahi. She's going to be the mother of your children. She's the one that's going to be nurturing them. They're going to be under her supervision. If she's a woman that swears is going to leave traces on your children. If she's a woman that keeps going out, she likes partying, Wallahi, your kids are going to follow the exact same footsteps. She's your companion. We've probably heard lectures about bad companions time and time again. The wife is the biggest companion you're going to have. And the closest one. The man is upon the religion of his friend. And the closest friend you have is your wife. So he needs to be aware and examine who his friends are. And the hadith that we heard, the other hadith that we... Uh, that we hear about when the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Inna ma mathalu jalisu salih wa jalisu suka hamil miski wa nafiq al kiri." I just quickly mention in English. Like the one that sits with good people is like what? The perfume seller. And like the one who sits with bad people is like who? The blacksmith. What happens to the perfume seller? He either sells you something, or you're gonna go into his shop, you're gonna come back with traces of the perfume that. Or the bakhur that was, you know, lit inside his shop. Or he's going to give you something for free. And the blacksmith is either going to burn you. Or you're going to come out with dust particles and, you know, very bad smell. Likewise with the wife. A lot of guys.